Two Secret Service sniper teams could be seen on rooftops behind former President Donald Trump less than two minutes before gunfire erupted at a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania on Saturday. They appear to be getting into position facing the direction of the gunmen who authorities say fired the shots that grazed former President Trump. Look at what happened. Oh. Trump said a bullet struck him in the ear. Here's how the attack unfolded. President Trump was speaking from a stage located here. The suspected gunman was on the roof of another building less than 450 feet away from where Trump was speaking with a clear line of sight. One minute and 32 seconds before shots are heard, we can see two Secret Service sniper teams moving into place on the roofs behind the former president one on the south roof and one on the north roof, facing the direction of the shooter. It's unclear if they were repositioning or setting up for the first time. And then the worst president in the history of our country took over. And look what happened to our country. Moments before the shooting, we can hear nearby spectators saying they see someone with a gun. He's going down! While Trump speaks, the Secret Service snipers are still facing the gunman's direction. We then see an agent on the north roof pick his head up just before shots ring out at 6.15. Secret Service agents rush to pull Trump to the ground. As they rush him off the stage, blood can be seen on the bleachers behind where Trump was speaking. A spectator was killed and two more were critically injured at the event, the Secret Service said. The suspected gunman, 20-year-old Thomas Matthew Crooks, was shot and killed, according to the FBI. 